Chloe and today I'm going to show you how to make a traditional English trifle. Trifle is a wonderful dessert because it looks very elegant, tastes delicious, and my secret, it's really easy to fix. You're going to start with a trifle bowl. It's usually a footed bowl with straight edges. Um, you might use yours for layered salads, same kind of idea with our dessert. I start with Sara Lee frozen pound cake. For my trifle bowl, it takes me one and a half of these family size frozen pound cakes. You're going to thaw that and cut it into one inch cubes. And you're going to start out by putting about half of your pound cake cubes into the trifle bowl. Then your next step is going to be to add about half of your fruit. I like to use blackberries. That's my favorite. I like to use canned blackberries in light syrup, but if you can't find a canned fruit that you like, you can use a frozen fruit. If you use a frozen fruit, you're going to want to put it in a bowl on the kitchen counter, add a half a cup of sugar, and let it sit there overnight so that you have enough juice to make your trifle. All right, let's add our blackberries and juice. I'm getting a lot of juice here, so then I'm, after I've coated all of this pound cake with some of the juice, I'm going to spoon the rest of these on so that I get about half of the berries. And you're going to spread those around so that there's going to be some in every spoonful when people dig into your delicious trifle. Right here, I have a half a cup of sherry. Now that I've put in half of my um, pound cake and half of my berries, I'm gonna add just a little bit of the sherry to make sure some of it gets to the bottom. And then I'll add the rest when I've got the rest of my ingredients in. Okay, now we're going to add the rest of the pound cake. Filling your dish, you're gonna to wanna to leave a little space at the top because we're going to finish this with some nice whipped cream. All right, there we go. And now I'm gonna add the rest of the berries and the juice. Again, moving it around to coat all of your pound cake. Okay. Now the next step is custard. I like to use Bird's Custard Powder, which you can, it's a product from the United Kingdom. If you can't find custard powder, you can always substitute vanilla pudding, but custard is going to make it a little bit better. We're going to set this aside. I'm going to take a bowl and add two tablespoons of our custard powder, two tablespoons of sugar. And we're going to put two cups of milk in a measuring cup, and I've taken two tablespoons out of the two cups of milk. We're going to stir this until it makes a paste, and when it's made a nice creamy paste, we're going to add the rest of the two cups of milk. Stir it well, and then I'm going to put this in the microwave for six minutes, stirring it halfway through. And here's our custard. We're going to go back to our trifle dish, add the remaining sherry, spreading it again over the whole dessert, and then we're just going to pour the custard powder or the custard right over top and let it get in there to all those empty spaces. I don't know about you, but I think this is looking pretty yummy right now. All right. Now, I'm going to pop this in the refrigerator for at least an hour. And um, you can leave it for up to a day and a half in the refrigerator. My family tells me it tastes, always tastes better the second day. But I'm going to put this in the fridge and let it um, congeal. 
after your trifle's been in the refrigerator for at least an hour, or right before you're going to serve it, you're going to take some uh, whipped cream that you've either prepared yourself, or if you want to do it the really easy way, buy some already prepared whipped cream, whipped topping, and put it in a Ziploc bag, and then you're just going to go around the top. You're going to cut a little corner off of your Ziploc bag, fill it with your whipped cream, and just make the top really pretty for your presentation. I'm just doing little swirls. They kind of look like big snowballs to me. And then your dessert is ready to serve. Like I said, don't get rid of it after the first day if it doesn't all get eaten. Your family will love eating the leftovers from this. And you can make it with the blackberries, you can make it with blueberries. You can put all kinds of chocolate things in a trifle and make a chocolate trifle. Basically, it's a layered dish that you use some kind of a cake or cookie-like product in and then top it with um, something like a chocolate pudding if you were doing a chocolate one. And I'm just going to finish off the top. There you go. Traditional English trifle and so easy.